our sacred space here in front of the altar, uh, our sacred space for the month of November, with the list of all the funerals that took place here in our parish from November 1st to 31st of October this past year. We're praying for them. We're praying for the Holy Souls during the month of November. So I think, I suppose, we remind ourselves, even out and about there, uh, creation, nature is reminding us of death as we face into winter. And, you know, even the leaves falling off the trees and very much so with the past few days, um, reminding us that things have to die in order to be born again. Nature is like that, just like you have when the leaves fall off the trees. Winter will come, spring will come, those leaves will re-sprout re again. So while you have birth, life, you've also resurrection. So today we remind ourselves of the cycle of life and we pay tribute to Marcella. And she'll be remembered by many people as a people's person walking in the reception in Spectra there um, many, many years, walking in retail, walking with people, born to our parents, Eliza and Jimmy Brown, St. Bernard's Terse. Second youngest of a family of eight children, very large family, went to school locally here in the press, primary and secondary, started off walking, I believe, in the civil service in Dublin, then walked for a while in Milchert, and then the other years in Spectre, etc. Um, when Spectre closed, I think she went into other retail shops here in town, um, met and uh, Richard Holly, another local man from Orlean, Liz Elton. They married way back in 1979, raised their two children, Lisa and Daniel, lived at the Convent Cross before she moved back to Ferndean. Her passions were, of course, her family, as you saw there in the Sembles brought up. She loved fashion, her baking, shopping, knitting, and everybody loved her, kind and generous, compassionate friend to have, good friend to have, loved to travel, lived a simple lifestyle, had the human touch. She really put love into action. Without love, the world would be a very bleak place. Hence, we should not be surprised to find that love occupies the central place of the gospel. Jesus says, love one another as I have loved you. And Christ said that his followers would be recognized by the love they showed for one another. He even went further, he said, that we would all be judged on love. <clears throat> and St. John of the Cross was only echoing the words of Christ when he said, in the evening of life, we will all be examined on the love we've shown to one another. So, being sensitive to the needs of others, life offers innumerable opportunities to practice that commandment of love every day. And it's not a question of doing big things, nor is it a question of giving things. Rather, it is a question of giving oneself in little ways, human ways, one's time, one's energy. That's love. Real love requires hard work, patience, and often goes unseen, unrecognized, very often, maybe unappreciated. It's not a sporadic thing. It's a way of life. That's the way Marcella lived. And she knew where her strength came from as well. Her strength came from God. Now, at harvest time for her, she would be rewarded. That kind of person is infectious as they do doing good. And she has shown us how love can be practiced in the ordinary everyday ways of life. Being that generous person, she will find the deepest satisfaction in devoting herself to the welfare of others. And I know there's many stories you can all tell about Marcella in the way that she enriched others. And those who unselfishly, be, unselfishly become agents of God's love and providence, they also become witnesses of, to Christ's love. And that's the most important task that any of us can carry out in our lives. Those who love others have nothing to fear from the day of judgment. Indeed, they can look forward to it. So Marcella, as we pray for you here this morning, we are praying for the pose of your soul. I ask God to forgive you your sins because we're all human. I ask God now to grant you a place in his heavenly banquet. We celebrated this week, the beginning of the week there, the, the November, the Feast of All Saints. We pray now that you will join the communion of saints. So may you rest in peace. Jimmy and Elias, 
Jackson and our siblings PJ and Betty, whom I send a love. May they be there to welcome her into our eternal home. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For all those who care for Marcella at home and in the hospital, especially Richard and her family, and all the staff in Bon Secures Hospital in Chile, Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Thank the Lord for Nana and for all the joy and happiness she brought to our family and friends. We know she will continue to care for us for the rest of our lives. Lord, hear us. Lord, Christ, hear us. Auntie Mar and her life exemplify the great virtue of hospitality. There was always room for one more, and no request was ever a burden. Lord, hear us. Lord, Christ, hear us. Here present that we may remember at all times, but especially at times of trouble and anxiety, that we are precious to God and that He will take care of us. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. You can shed tears that she has gone, or you can smile because she has lived. You can close your eyes and pray that she will come back, or you can open your eyes and see all that she has left. Your heart can be empty because you can't see her, or you can be full of the love that you shared. You can turn your back on tomorrow and live yesterday, or you can be happy for tomorrow because of yesterday. You can remember her and only that she is gone, or you can cherish her memory and let it live on. You can cry and close your mind, be empty and turn your back, or you can do what she would want, smile, open your eyes, love, and go on. Now my way, Rodri, precious Lord, linger me. Now my life on there is gone. Hear my cry and hear my call. Hold my hand, lest I fall. Take my hand, precious Lord, lead me on. Precious Lord, take my hand, lead me on, let me stand. I am tired and weak, and I am worn. Through the storm, through the night, lead me on to the light. Take my hand, precious Lord, lead me home. 